Just terrifying. The survivors of that apartment collapse in Davenport, Iowa, are now sharing their stories of survival. Lexis Berry told Elizabeth Vargas last night that her wife fell several stories in the collapse, is currently in critical condition. And right now, five people are still unaccounted for after the six story apartment building collapsed Sunday. Investigators believe. Two of those people may be in the rubble in that debris pile. It's unclear what happened to the other three individuals. We're still asking that question. But at this hour, there have been no official reports of anyone who has died. Right now, rescuers are trying to weigh going into the rubble to search for survivors and risk a bigger collapse or to have a controlled demolition. All options on the table, but the search for life is the priority. We're joined now by a resident of that apartment building, Justin. Justice Jacobs. Uh, thank you, Ms. Jacobs, for being with us this morning. I just can't imagine what it's like being there and seeing this in person. I was in Surfside years ago when that building collapsed, and to look behind you at your home um, that has collapsed to the ground. Um, talk about your emotions right now, being uh, so close to this devastating scene. Yes, thank you so much, Marnie, for having me on today. Um, it's an emotional roller coaster, you know. Um, all of our stuff is gone. I came home to the tragedy from work. I had no idea what was going on with my groceries. I was ready to start my week and start meal prepping and get back to what I usually do. And all of that was taken from me uh, in a matter of hours. So it is heartbreaking for not only myself, but many, many others that were living in these buildings. Um, and my heart absolutely goes out to every single person involved. I pray and I hope that they find whoever is still missing. Um, um, alive and and well, uh, it just it's terrible. Where is your apartment justice in relation to the damage we see behind you? Yes, um, so my apartment is actually uh, on the left hand side over here on the top, not the top floor, but the top, the floor behind it and behind the actual fall. Um, so mine actually did not fall to the ground, but like I said, they're not, we can't get access to anything that we have, um, obviously, because the building is completely unstable. Yeah, understandable. How long have you lived there? I actually just moved in uh, in March. So I was a new resident looking forward to a new start in life and this happened. So that was pretty unfortunate. Yeah, it is. Uh, talk about your experience being there and what you saw. We've heard complaints with the building and maintenance. Was that anything that you noticed and did you share that concern? Uh, yes, I did. Um, I had a few maintenance issues. I mean, honestly, like I said, I've only been there for three months. So I, having maintenance issues and not being responded to in the, the first couple of months is kind of just it's kind of ridiculous. So that was unfortunate. Um, I didn't have anything that I believe pertained to the fall, but there was reports of my neighbors. They had cracks in their walls um, starting as early as last week or two weeks ago that they were noticing that they were telling maintenance about and no one no one got answers about that. Mm -hmm. There have been some rescues. We had the rescue of uh, Miss Lisa Brooks, 52 years old, that happened on Monday into Tuesday. Some animals, some pets have been rescued. I understand your pet was among those that was saved. Yes, ma'am. Um, Xenon, my dog, was out uh, roaming the streets of Davenport, and the King's Harvest Shelter actually was able to locate her and reunite us the other day. So that was amazing. Uh, my heart, I, I feel bad for all of the pets that, you know, were still missing or are still missing that haven't been returned to their owners. That's some people's, that's their world, and that's all they have. Mm -hmm. Justice, where are you staying right now? I mean, where do you go? Yeah, so right now um, I have a lot of support, a lot of family support, a lot of client support. I own a business, a small business out here in our community, and a lot of my clients are helping me out. I am staying with one of them um, over in Rock Island for the time being until we can kind of sort some of this out. I know compensation has been offered to some people who live in the building. Have you been a recipient of any of the financial aid and support? Uh, I believe that there was just that grant that Kim Reynolds had released. I have applied for that assistance, um, but we haven't heard anything as far as any compensation from the owners or building or anything like that. Um, I believe that there will be some lawyer meetings coming up in the next week. You know, as, as we were speaking with our reporter a moment ago, I asked the question, are they actively searching what's happening on the rubble pile? Um, what are you seeing at this hour? And can you talk about some of the frustration from people who look at that and think, Nothing's happening, right? There might be people inside. Um, how does that land with you right now? 
Right. Uh, well, that's a tough situation, you know, because the building is unstable and as disappointing as it is to hear that they can't just bum rush the building and get in there and find them at, at risk of everyone else, you know, that's terrible and I feel for them completely. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of, you know, torn between the two. You know, we have to do what's right for the community and the building, but we still want to save whoever is inside. Um, so that's, that's tough to deal with. Uh, finally, Justice, have you thought about what's next for you too soon? Oh, honestly, I'm living bit day by day right now. I'm trying to save as much as I can uh, with the GoFundMe pages and things like that until all this is settled so that I can start to rebuild my life. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.